Hello friends, this is Anupam. Welcome to my blog. Today I'm going to blog on content library. It's a very new thing on vSphere 6.x. So I'm just going through on a brief because I'm also not very aware and this blog is a little different where actually I'm going to learn by myself how exactly the content library is configured and I've just gone through some other blogs and videos and I just referred it. So this blog is going to be like we are going to configure content library between two V centers. It's between 10 and 20. So one of the, sorry guys. So one of the V center is in Mumbai, whereas other V center is located in Pune. Now, so what we will do is we'll configure our content library let's go to content library okay and we'll go to objects and let's create a new library okay we'll give it a name so since this is Mumbai we'll give content library we'll write For production okay now uh, this is gonna be content library of local so we are going to publish this externally and we'll enable the password for security reasons let's give the password okay now we have to select a data store so i'm going to select the data store i know very less space is left but just we have to do a testing so it's fine and it's finish so our content library is get got completed now we are going to tap a template to it so i have already created one template so let's tag that template to that content library clone to library so what exactly is happening guys is we are creating a library where we are tagging a template to that library this library will be also accessible from Pune so that we can share a common ISO image or OVF template whatever we have we don't have to transfer it online or it's it can be dynamically changed by suppose a Mumbai team is having a certain sets of software which they keep modifying inside a template yes it will keep getting modified and the same can be used in Pune itself so we have to use this so preserve MAC address or the network adapter we want to do it no include extra configuration no we don't want to do that we just need a template okay so the clone to template so I think it will take a little while let's go back to our content library meanwhile we'll try to connect our content libraries between Mumbai and Pune so I'll go to manage and this is so yeah it got completed now we can see here is our one of the template which we were having got is under the templates we can see here now what we will do is we'll go to manage copy this link I will go to Pune vCenter let's go to content library objects so name let's give it library you can give the notes so we are going to subscribe a content library okay now we are going to use here the URL what we have given there since it was having a password we'll give the same password here 
so guys here are the two options should are we planning to download that library contents immediately or we should better download it later on as per our need so i'm going to select download the content only when needed so i'm not going to check that let's go next i'll click yes for the certificate i'll select the data store where it is going to get replicated to and we'll click finish so once this is done we can see the same template the template which was there in related object mumbai server catalog okay so we are under pune this is there which is under a sync which we have taken we can see it mumbai server catalog template right so we can see the same got replicated and you can see here the size size is zero bytes because we have not done a sync so we can easily go here and do a synchronized item it can get synchronized so this is a brief overview about content library guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and please post your comment that what video you want to watch in thank you guys goodbye